all good things must come to an end. This is especially true when it comes to owning a car in Singapore when your COE expires. While the idea of a brand new ride will appeal to most, the increasing cost of car prices as well as taxes means that renewing a car COE might make more economical sense. Here are some things to consider if you're currently deciding if you should renew your car COE. When your existing car COE expires, you have the option of deregistering or extending it. Opting to extend your COE for another 5 or 10 years can be done by simply paying for the prevailing quota premium or PQP. This can be calculated using the average of COE prices in the most recent 3 months, or you can simply check back the One Motoring website for the latest PQP figures. For most people, renewing your COE seems like the most cost-effective solution. However, it is worthwhile to consider and analyze from different angles to see if this is true. To put things in perspective, let us consider the following example. Option number one, buying a new car. Taking into account current prices, a brand new Toyota costs about 94,000. We can get the depreciation across 10 years by subtracting the path rebate. The path rebate as of July 2020 for a Toyota LT standard variant is estimated about 9,005. In this case, the total depreciation over 10 years on a brand new Toyota LT will be about 84,500. Should you decide to renew your COE, renewing your COE based on current PQP will cost about $32,190 as of July 2020. While this may seem substantially cheaper than purchasing a brand new Toyota Altis, there are three main factors to consider. Number one, additional road tax. COE renewed cars face incremental road tax at 10% every year and are kept at a maximum of 50%. This means that it will cost more to keep your cars on the road and more so if your engine capacity is high. Number two, high cost of maintenance. Another possible money pit is the high cost of maintenance and repairs. Older cars tend to require more maintenance and incur heftier repair fees. So depending on the condition of a car, be prepared to pay approximately 20,000 or so throughout the next 10 years. Number three, decrease in fuel efficiency. Older and worn out engines consume more fuel leading you to more frequent stops at petrol stations and driving your petrol expenses as a result. Most Singaporeans drive an average of 150,000 kilometers within a time frame of 10 years. On paper, a liter of petrol gets you about 15.6 kilometers for a brand new Altis. This equates to about 9,615 liters of petrol needed for 10 years of driving. An engine that has been heavily utilized may experience a 20% blip in fuel efficiency therefore consuming an additional 1,923 litres as a consequence. Assuming petrol to be $2 per litre, this amounts to additional $3,646 spent for driving a COE renewed car. As a disclaimer, the actual fuel consumption is probably going to be lower than 15.6 km per litre, but this is just used as a gauge for a simple calculation purpose. I have compiled a table for all the hidden costs to be aware of. From the figure shown, the total difference between purchasing a brand new car and renewing your COE is about $23,000. Of course, this sum may vary depending on how much potentially you have to fork out in terms of repairs and maintenance. Therefore, the condition and mileage of the car would be crucial in justifying your decision. If Japanese or Korean brands such as Toyota, Hyundai, Mitsubishi are your kind of ride, the current COE is about 30 to 50% of the price of a brand new car. Bearing in mind that there are several hidden costs, as mentioned above, some will say that paying for a brand new car upfront may probably save you money and time in the long run. On the other hand, continental brands such as Audi, Mercedes, and BMW may seem more viable for a COE extension since COE only represents 15 to 20 percent of the total car price. However, these cars usually come with higher road tax to their larger engines, and that means it will require more petrol and heftier bills from the repair shop because of the restricted access to the premium components and parts. In summary, whether you should renew your COE depends largely on the condition of a car. If it's already draining your finances and the mechanics, there is high probability that you will continue to do so after extending your COE. It is inevitable that repairing a used car will cost more, especially if spare parts are no longer available locally and have to be shipped in. All these bits and fixes could add up unknowingly, which in my case, my advice would be go for renewal only for cars that are still in good working condition and low mileage. You'll be paying for lower upfront costs, receiving advantageous interest rates for a car loan and be assured of warranties. Do like and share this video and subscribe to my channel so you can be notified of other new videos. 
In the meantime, if you have any further questions, please drop us a comment below and let me know.